Good morning, class. It's Monday. Which, as you know, means you're getting a new assignment for the week. Only it's not Monday. It's Tuesday. Because we just had a holiday. So I hope everyone enjoyed their long weekend, and let's get into your assignment. As we've been studying the 19th century, we need to start looking at colonialism. Colonialism was the active policy of major European powers during this time to extract raw resources from Africa, ship those resources back to Europe, and use them to fuel their factories and their economies. Ironically, we will be exploring this relationship by looking at one of two countries in Africa that never came under direct European control, Liberia. Liberia was founded in roughly 1822 to be a colonial settlement for freeborn blacks and newly freed slaves in both America and England. On July 26, 1847, the country declared its independence. They met in Monrovia, which would become the capital, and wrote an independent constitution. Liberia is interesting because while not a direct subject of any colonial power, many of the effects of colonialism would play out in Liberia as well. Things like the creation of artificial ethnic elites, rampant resource extraction, and dependence on Western powers. Its relationship with America, specifically as a harbor for freed slaves, will affect our understanding of many post-emancipation plans and several abolitionist groups and even U.S. presidents throughout the American Civil War. For the next week, you're going to be broken up into three groups. Pre-colony, post-independence, and post-colonial. Pre-colony will be looking at the cultures and societies that existed in the area prior to the resettlement of freed slaves. Post-independence will look at the society and government that formed in Liberia after they declared themselves a sovereign nation. I want you to pay special attention to the role resettled groups had in that society and government as compared to native-born inhabitants of that geographic area. Finally, post-colonial is going to take a look at Liberia post-1960s, which marks the official end of European colonialism in Africa. I've provided some links in the description down below to help get you started, but you're going to want to do a lot of independent research to be able to properly brief your classmates next week. As usual, you'll need to write me a 300-word essay describing what you've learned. Then on Monday, I will give you five minutes to meet with your group mates and discuss how you want to present the information. I hope everyone had a good weekend. I look forward to seeing you in class, and I look forward to seeing the results of your work on this week's assignment.